Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a quick, a quick, a quick vid, a quick video about um, weight loss and calories and being skinny and all of those things. This is more so directed for people who want to lose weight, but if you also want to gain weight, then this applies too because the information is still relevant. I'll explain it. Essentially, since I started studying um, in my nutrition class through university this semester, I have a registered dietitian for a teacher, which initially I thought, okay, she's going to have all these like wacko recommendations, like it's going to be different from what I've learned um, on my own, stuff like that, just because I know dietitians are funded by the government and the government, I thought, had some weird regulations. But when you actually look into it, which I have been since I've been studying for my midterm, which I have to write in, I have to leave in 14 minutes to write it, so here we go. I've heard a lot of people talking in my life and on social media and YouTube videos especially about how to lose weight and all of them say you need to um, take in less calories than you're expending. Well, yes, this is true. I think people take it to the extremes and they don't exercise um, and to compensate for that they just limit their food like a ton but what they don't realize is that there's a certain number of calories that you need to take in in order for your body to work properly if you're taking in like this tiny tiny amount of calories it might seem like you're creating a big deficit with how much you're uh, expending versus how much you're taking in but there's a certain limit that if you go below that, you're not gonna be able to function properly. You're just gonna start like losing muscle mass. So it's not just that you're losing weight, it's literally like your body isn't functioning anymore. And in, in order to function, it's starting to take minerals from like your bones and starting to break down your muscles in order to get protein. It's really bad. So I recommend that everybody just look into the amount of, the minimum amount of calories that someone your height, weight, age, um, and sort of build is supposed to be taking in and I guarantee it's going to be a lot more than you guys think. It, the problem with taking in 1200 calories or less, you are telling your body that it's in like a starvation time period and so your body thinks, okay, I'm not getting any more food for a while, I'm going to slow down my metabolism, I'm going to become really efficient at storing these calories, using them really efficiently, not burning them off quickly, which is kind of the opposite of what you want when you want to be losing weight and keeping, like maintaining a healthy weight. That's why a lot of people who, when they say like, oh yeah, I, I try to stick to, you know, 1200 calories a day you're actually just screwing your body over. Your body's smarter than you and it's slowing everything down and it's not you're not tricking it the way you think you are. So you need to make sure you get enough calories. The second thing I just want to address is carbs. I thought that in my nutrition course, um, my teacher was going to be saying, you know, carbs aren't that good for you, they make you gain weight, blah, blah, blah. But she said that the minimum amount of carbohydrates that you have to take in in a day, the minimum amount just for your brain to function because your brain runs on glucose and you get glucose from carbohydrates, the minimum amount that you have to take in in a day just for your brain to work and for you to you know be like a functioning person and not be like cranky and moody and horrible is 130 grams just for your brain to work. So that's not taking into account if you're working out and if you're active and if you're thinking even more like that's just for your brain to work if you're just like laying in bed all day doing nothing. For all of these low calorie or low carb diets like the Atkins diet and you know all those ones that limit your carbs, your body goes into ketosis which is where it starts producing ketones when you don't have enough carbohydrates and you start using fat for energy. The problem is your body doesn't want to use fat for energy so it's doing this because it's like well if I don't then I'll die. You probably don't want to be doing that for a long time because you don't want your body to just be like trying to survive. You want it to be working properly. Low carb diets recommend under 100 grams of carbohydrates a day and like I said before that's not even 130 which is you know the amount that you need just for your brain to work so just I just really want to relay the message that if you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to um, you know cut your calories and cut your carbs to lose weight please stop doing it. <laughs> 
the only way you can really lose weight is to you know make sure your body's working properly which means you need to be getting enough calories getting enough nutrients and getting enough carbs to make it work and then you need to be physically active on top of that if you're not eating enough carbs and you're not eating enough calories you're not going to be able to be physically active which I think is really really important in helping someone lose weight and become fitter and healthier please eat enough carbohydrates look it up how much carbs is recommended for you to be eating and then maybe even eat a little bit more than that because fruit and rice and potatoes they make you feel so good and they make give you lots of energy and then you'll have enough energy to work out whereas if you don't eat enough carbs and you feel like dead tired all the time and you're on this diet and you're not even working out then what happens when you want to actually get fit like it's just not sustainable you want something that makes you a functioning human being so that you can like be in society you can be working out you can be eating you cannot be freaking out about like how many carbs are in a piece of bread like you just want to be not trying to limit yourself all the time you eat more calories and eat more carbs not excessive to the point of like you know stuffing your face all day but if you eat enough then it's going to enable your body to work properly so that it can actually start getting down to its proper weight also like I said about if you want to gain weight you just need to be eating more so that your body um, doesn't think that it's in this starvation mode so once you start eating more uh, your body will gain weight if it needs to so it's all relevant to carbs and calories and just making sure that you are have a functioning body so that it can do its job um, so that it can help you lose weight if you need it or help you gain weight if you need it starvation diets and low carb diets they just don't work they've been proven time and time again that yes if you lose weight from them which you can because your body goes into starvation mode or starts freaking out and you know loses a bunch of water weight you either gain it all back or you gain it back plus more and that's been proven I've seen people in my life do that I've seen people on the internet do that it's well documented so yeah I have to leave in six minutes now so I'm going to go write my nutrition midterm um, before this when I got home from school at lunchtime today I had like a big bowl of pasta and vegetables and an almond sauce and then right before I made this I was eating like three medium-ish large potatoes please please don't be afraid to just eat and to give your body enough fuel to have it work properly so that you can have your brain working and your body working and you can just be a functioning person in society yeah. see you soon <laughs> Thank you.